FTR says they pitched the idea of facing each other in an Owen Hart Foundation tournament qualifying match, but are not interested in ever breaking up their team. Appearing on the 300th episode of the Wrestling Perspectives podcast, Cash and Dax spoke about having to fight for being able to face each other in the tournament. It was our idea, Harwood said. We had to fight for it, but that was completely our idea. We've always wanted to have a match, but we didn't want to just have a match just to have a match. There had to be a reason. And this is the perfect reason to do it. The Hart family means a lot to both of us personally and professionally. And so being able to show respect to Owen Hart and his whole family, what better way to do it than allowing the two biggest Hart family fans in the world to compete. I like how everybody thinks they're the biggest Hart family fan. And by the way, does anyone not know the finish of that match? I'm not going to say it here, but I think it's patently obvious what's going to happen. And then he <laughs> discusses more about how they don't want to break up and et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, there is this. Bret Hart is believed to have signed a deal with WWE that prevents him from appearing in AEW. Hart is advertised to be in FTR's corner for a big-time wrestling show on June 10th. He is not expected to play the same role in AEW, however. Our own Dave Meltzer reported in Friday's Observer Newsletter, Hart is believed to have signed a deal with WWE that prevents him from appearing in AEW, but allows him to take independent bookings. The reason this is on an indie show and not AEW is that those in AEW over the belief that Hart quietly signed a lucrative WWE deal that would ban him from appearing on AEW shows. But he is allowed to do indie shows, so that loophole allowed this to happen. So yes, AEW announced an Owen Hart Foundation tournament. They had all of those teases on television about Bret Hart. And so WWE threw a bunch of money at him. And more power to him. I mean, yeah. that's the game. It's business here. I mean... And they don't need him to be there to celebrate Owen Hart. This is about Owen Hart, the foundation, Martha, her kids, what they are doing. Everybody else, you know, it would have been nice if he was there. But that's okay. This is about Owen anyway. And I don't blame Brett... Uh, I don't blame WWE, you know, or really anybody, any of these parties here. They all are individuals who do have themselves to look out for. You know, FTR is uh, with AEW for quite a while now. I believe at least a year to two more years. I think they got another year and then a one-year option. And uh, there was that story out a week ago about how WWE was really interested in FTR. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> somebody, you know what's so yeah, funny yeah. about this story? I mean, There's a lot, a couple, of, a lot of things, but, but... Yeah. So they had FTR. FTR was in NXT having incredible wrestling matches. FTR gets called up to the main roster. Their gimmick is that they are wrestlers. WWE has no clue what to do with them. They had that thing on the that one show where they were humiliated by DX or whatever. Just taken off television. They just desperately won out. WWE, finally, you know, they end up going to AEW. And then, you know, they do an AEW. They have great tag team wrestling matches. They didn't get new gimmicks. They didn't get anything they're the exact same team doing the exact same thing that they were doing but aw let them do it now they're super over with the aw audience and now wwe wants them back mm -hmm. for what to well. do what you could have done with them before they left i was just thinking about this yesterday and it was just it's absolutely mind-blowing to me i mean you well. had them it's not like, you know, you you let somebody go and then they get a new look, a new makeover, a new character, a new whatever. Cody, for example. You know, they, they had Cody doing Stardust and all this other stuff. He goes to AEW, becomes a big star. He's the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And they let him come back with everything he was doing in AEW. Which is also funny, by the way, that, you know... He got over there, and you want that guy. I mean, that's fine and all. But, like, FTR are doing nothing different 
than what they absolutely 100% could have done the exact same thing with you, and you wouldn't let them do it, and you froze them off television, and you humiliated them, and now you want them back. I was just like, okay, whatever. I mean, I'm sure they do want them back. But this is why it is a, you know, no matter what they do with Cody, because you talked about that, how important it is that they treat Cody in, in trying to bring over other people. And you are right about that, but there's also the underlying piece of if they want you back and they point to Cody and say, see, you know, everything's going to be fine. No, it may not be for you. And with FTR, with the type of wrestlers that they are, the fact that they are wrestlers, not sports entertainers, and that's the whole part of it, that's only going to go so far. So they are far better off where they are, and they're another group now that things are opening up worldwide. I don't know how much they would like to travel. <laughs> Tully and Arn didn't travel that much and go to Japan, but they did go. And I would love to see FTR take a trip over there. I'd love to see them go to the UK and continue to, to do what they do best. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off. Okay, A bat can only fly, fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.